It's week one of the National Football League, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Chiefs and the Bengals on Monday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in the Queen City of Cincinnati. Tonight, it's our first Monday night game of the new season, and we've got a good one coming up, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, a new season finally here. We had the great one Thursday night. All sorts of intrigue in the games yesterday, and now we put a bow on this first weekend with a good one here tonight. The Chiefs offense getting ready to go here in this opening Monday night contest of the new year. And the one this defense will need to contain is this man, their second year wide out. He was sensational a year ago. Double-digit touchdown receptions, Charles. Where does he go from here? Well, partner, one thing we do know, he's going to come into this season looking good and feeling good and feeling entrenched because, remember, he was traded last season. Now he's there, and he's ready to go. So I would expect him not only to have a big year, I'd keep a strong eye on him in this game. Inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 75 yards. And the Chiefs are on the board here first in the season opener. Wow, first play of the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type play. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he fires one incomplete. Kadarius Toney is intended target, but it's going to be second down. the gun it's Mahomes he'll drop this off to Pacheco and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory an 11 yard pickup and it's enough for a Chiefs first down well, as a coach you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early and that's exactly what we've seen so far they had a touchdown on their opening drive and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down this offense is moving the ball well exactly as he drew it up in practice and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Mahomes to throw on second down. He completes it to Henry. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 29-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. On first down, Mahomes. Along the sideline, it's his man, Henry, making the catch. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Our first red zone chance of the new season now as they come up first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he's going to pull his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Chiefs lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. Well, he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. 
come the Chiefs now. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Mahomes now on first down. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. Stiff-armed him. Mahomes finding his tight end Kelsey for a big one and even 60 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, it's only week one, CD, but right now this offense, they look in mid-season form. And what we're seeing is the benefits of all their dedication in the offseason, OTAs, mini camps, preseason, you name it, they did it. All that work and preparation, we're seeing them play really well right now. They're making it all pay off. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. He stiff arms him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 107 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Henry. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big play there on the catch and run. 34 yards. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and 10. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. Offense is moving it a little bit. Out and back on their heels. But they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. A run by Pacheco on second down. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. From the gun on third down, Mahomes work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. KC's offense ready to take over. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. 
I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Here's a second and two now from the 33. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. He'll get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. Look at the big man rumble. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 67 yards. And the Chiefs are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Uh, not so fast. No, not. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. And with the play clock reading four, we're going to get a timeout. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Yellow, yellow. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. Fighting him off. There he goes, right side. Now look out. He's to the 20. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Chiefs continue to pull away here in this first half. So what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run, a lengthy one, takes him over 200 yards now for the game. And I love the fact that to get over 200, it took a pretty good sprint, didn't it? I mean, a lot of times you get one or two yards, and oh, he's over 200 yards. But that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. A lot of fun to watch. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And just inside of a minute left, Charles, they got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this. But you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 230 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Throw right side going to be taken in by Henry. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. So we reach halftime here at our first Monday nighter of the season. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital, where it was the visiting Lions who come in and get the road victory. Jared Goff, two touchdown passes, as his guys are able to get the victory in their season opener. 
From there, let's get over to the Rockies to check out the Broncos at home in Denver. And it was the visiting Atlanta Falcons who come in and get the victory. Desmond Ritter, four touchdown passes in the victory. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Saquon Barkley, well over 100 yards on the ground with a pair of touchdown runs. We got a strong first half out of the running back, Isaiah Pacheco. He's found the end zone four times on the ground already as he's putting together the kind of performance you dream about as a running back. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Mahomes now on first down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards is the pickup there of the drive starting very nicely. First down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Complete, it's Henry. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 24 yards the game there, another first down as well. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. To throw, it's Mahomes. That ball caught, it's Rice. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. He will push his way down to about the 14. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. On second down, here's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal. But you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. A six-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And this has been quite a performance to kick off the new year on the road, no less, as they try to finish things off here in the fourth quarter. On 
First and ten, here's Pacheco. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Yeah, good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him. And now off to the races down the right side. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 32 yards. And the Chiefs are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, you never quite know how week <laughs> one is going to play out. But... Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. It's been a dominant performance to this point, Charles, and this is probably exactly how they scripted this and envisioned it. They got a three-score lead, fourth quarter, and a chance if they want to continue to pour it on here. It is their call, isn't it? I mean, the way that they have taken on this game and the way that they have carried this game and have dominated this game, you're exactly right. Do what you want down the stretch. We are in the era of, hey, if you don't want us to do this to you, then you need to stop us. Their call to finish this one off. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. Here's second and ten. Now Mahomes. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's up. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 48 yards. And the Chiefs have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. going to throw it here and that'll be caught by Tony and he's corralled but not before getting it inside the 35 16 yards right off the bat with a first down well how about this aggressive approach got the lead fourth quarter continuing to throw the football 
Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. And I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 18 more yards there and another first down. First down, Chiefs. Mahomes now to throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference. Well, partner, that'll do it. These week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for the Chiefs, it'll be a happy trip home as they start the season with a road victory here on a Monday night. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.